awa masha we are we are oh awa masha we are masha we are masha we are we are oh awa hina we Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father God, this morning, you have given us another opportunity to gather this platform. Father, we want to thank you for each and every person that is going to connect on this platform. Father, I pray that you touch their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God Almighty, for every device that is going to connect. Lord God Almighty, let thy will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, help us, Father God, as we come to seek for your face. Help us, Abba Father, in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and honor this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I just want to take this opportunity to greet you, saints, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We just want to welcome you all to Christ Love Ministries International Zoom Prayer Night Vigil. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to go straight away to our uh, Lord's Prayer. We are opening in the book of Matthew, chapter number 6, from verse 9 to 13. Pastor said he is having a problem with his laptop, so we are using our Bibles to this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew, chapter number 6, from verse 9 to 13. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible reads, I'm reading from New King James Version. In this month, we will pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. You want to just uh, thank the Lord for this uh, Lord's prayer that he has commanded us to pray. Shall we pray in the spirit? Ba 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 
Amen. We want to, on the same scripture, in the same uh, uh, chapter, we want to pray verse number number 10, which says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. We Amen. want to pray. We want to pray. They say, God, let, let the kingdom of God manifest in our, in our workplaces. Let it manifest in our churches, in our homes, wherever we go. Let the kingdom of God manifest and let the will of God be done in every aspect of our lives. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, for verse 10, that's a kingdom come. In our lives, the mighty Father, in our church, in all our branches, in the mighty name of Jesus, in everything that concerns us, so mighty Father, Marry <laughs> Thank you. 
Let your will be in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 
Shall we go to the book of Zephaniah, chapter number three? You want to read our anchor from verse 13 to 20. Zephaniah, chapter number three, from verse 18 to 20. I will read. The remnant of Israel shall do no unrighteousness and speak no lies, nor shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed their flocks and lie down, and no one shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your judgment. He has cast out your enemy. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall see disaster no more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, Zion. Let not your hands be weak. The Lord your God is in your midst. The mighty one will save he will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet your. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. I will gather those who sorrow over the appointed assembly, who are among you, to whom its reproach is a burden. Behold, at that time I will deal with all who afflict you. I will save the lame and gather those who were driven out. I will appoint them for, for praise and fame in every land where they were put to shame. At that time, I will bring you back even at the time I gather you, for I will give you fame and praise among all the peoples of the earth when I retain your captivities before your eyes says the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to get our first prayer point from verse number 13 that says, the remnant of Israel shall do no unrighteousness and speak no lies, nor shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed their flocks and lie down, and no one shall make them afraid. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to pray. We want to pray for our mouth. Like Bishop spoke to us on Sunday saying, there is nothing that is called a small lie. Every lie is a sin before the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to pray for our mouth so that it may not lead us into, into any error. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We want to pray because we are the remnant. We are the people who are representing God on earth. So lies or anything, any sin that is found through the mouth is not our portion. We have to pray and ask God to cleanse our mouth that every time we try to, do, to speak something that is not of God, that the Holy Spirit does not want, may the Lord touch our mouth before we even speak. Hallelujah. So shall we pray for our mouth? Father, in the name of Jesus, name we thank you, Lord God, because you have given us this morning we come before your throne of grace. We say, Lord God, I'm going to have your way. Touch, Almighty God, our lips, O Lord God. We pray, Almighty God, that our lips may not lead us into error. In the mighty name of Jesus, Almighty God, touch us, O God. Have your way, Almighty King of Glory. Recapture, 
Oh, Father, clean our mouth, all of God.
Marika Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to pray that same prayer point once again. Okay. You see, sometimes we speak things without knowing what we are doing. So to me, I think it's one of the biggest prayer point in our lives because we lie not knowing that we are sinning before the Lord. So I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, that tonight, this morning, let's pray for our mouth. That okay. may the Holy Spirit even remind us when we want to lie that no, don't lie. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall so we pray once again for our mouth? It's a big prayer point. I, 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 to me, it's, it's a very important prayer point because when bishops spoke to us telling us that every lie, even small one, telling people that I'm, I'm, in, I'm in town, whilst you're in Katutura, it's a big sin before the Lord because you are lying. And it's true, yeah, you'll be lying. So let's pray for our mouth. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come again, once again, before your throne of Maha, <laughs> Father, let not our mouth lead us into error in the mighty name of Jesus. Let our mouth not lead us into error. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that our tongue be the voice of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, that in His name, the Lord, as we speak, we speak the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray that our tongue be the voice of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray that our tongue be the voice of the Lord. Let in your word, Almighty Father, that your name shall do no let this word become flesh in us, O God. Let it become a life in us. We pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I hope from today we will not have a little lie in our hearts, in our mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to verse 14. Verse 14 says, Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, when I was looking at this, uh, this verse, I saw that it is possible sometimes that you may show that you are glad you may show that you are rejoicing, but whilst your heart is not connected with what you are doing, hallelujah. Amen. We want to come again before the Lord and pray for our heart. We have prayed for our mouth. Now we want to pray for our heart. We say, God help us so that as we are, as we are rejoicing, as we are glad in the house of the Lord, let our inside be equal to our outside. What Amen. is inside? Let it match with the outside. Oh, because yes, no. here it is saying, be glad and rejoice with all heart, all your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So, there is a possibility that you can rejoice without your heart involving, being yes. involved. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Pray for our heart this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in Lord, the Lord, mighty I name of Jesus. Your throne of grace. Father, Father, Father our I pray that you say you in your word, heart be heart glad heart and heart rejoice with all Lord your heart. God, that is for our Father, Father, I present my heart before you. you say, Lord, God, I want to touch my heart. Let my inside be equal to my outside. In the name of Jesus. All your heart. Our Jesus, 
Marika Touch our heart morning, Lord God. Help us to inside Rabba <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. We want to take our next prayer point from verse 19 and 20. Zephaniah chapter number three, verse 19 and 20. I read, Behold, at that time I will deal with all who afflict you. I will save the lame and gather those who, who were driven out. I will appoint them for praise and fame in every land where they were put to shame. At that time, I will bring you back even at the time I gather you, for I will give you fame and praise among all the peoples of the earth 
when I return your captivities before your eyes, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We want to pray that God help us to come out of our hiding so that we may showcase that our God is in our midst. Bishop okay. spoke to us last time and said, it is our time for now to be famous. Hallelujah. Amen. May the people in the world see the Lord in us. I believe it is a season for our God to be famous. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we go before the Lord and pray? To say, God, help us to come out of our hiding and showcase our God, the God that is in our midst. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? no, Lord, God, we thank you tonight in the mighty name of God. Let the world see the God in us all of that. Baba <laughs> <laughs> 
Mari 
in Jesus name we pray amen hallelujah amen we are taking our next prayer point on the book of Isaiah 41 verse 10 Isaiah 41 verse 10 I will read fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you yes I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand hallelujah amen we want to pray this prayer point very well hallelujah because we want to pray for ourselves we want to pray for strength because many a times when we keep on doing the same thing over and over again you end up becoming tired but tonight we want to pray for strength that may god strengthen us all the time we are god that we are meeting at this platform to pray every time may he give us strength because sometimes you can log in and you feel tired others are praying but you are sleeping we want to rebuke that spirit and say god help us and give us strength hallelujah to me this prayer point is very 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 important because sometimes you feel very tired it is the attack of the devil i believe he doesn't want us to pray these prayers because they are so powerful hallelujah amen Amen. we pray and ask god for strength that every time we come at this platform may god give us strength yes Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray for strength. Father, you are the one we have assigned us so much. That tonight, this morning, we are praying for strength. our strength, Abba, Father. We may not be tired. Every time we need so much, God, we start with the Lord. God, Shake it, 
in the name of in the name of Jesus Yeah, 
but by my spirit, says the Lord of God, we pray that the spirit of the living God, the best destiny of God, the gift of guidance, is this come, Almighty Father, to worship you, is this come, Almighty Father, in obedience. Maria, 
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I believe we have given strength from above from today. Hallelujah. Amen. My next prayer point is my last prayer point before I hand over to Bishop. We will, I'm going to take it from Psalm 91, from just verse 1 to 8. Psalm 91, from verse 1 to 8. I will read. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and battle. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in the dark, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall on your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to raise again the prayer point that was raised by Pastor Asa on Tuesday. Uh, we have noticed that the holiday for, for heroes was just only three days, but the amount of accidents that took place with so many. But tonight, this morning, we want to pray 
because we are now entering into another season of holidays of Easter. So we want to pray because here in Namibia, it's a culture that most people, they travel during holidays. And also the devil takes advantage because of that. So we want to pray against that spirit of accidents in Namibia. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to pray for protection that may God protect each and every member of Christ Love Ministries International as they travel this Easter holiday. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to pray even for our relatives, for each and every person who will be traveling all around Namibia. We want to pray and say, God, let there be zero accidents this season in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that Almighty has given us Psalm 90. Father, I pray, Lord, that Almighty, because you are our protection. Father, you are our shield. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are our shield. Father, we seek it to protect you, Lord. Oh, Lord, that Almighty, every person who is going to pass through the presence of the Holy that is coming, oh, my God. We pray, Abba, Father, that there will be no access to the presence in the name of Jesus. Thank 
Amen. I will leave this time to Bishop. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I want to so, so remember that um, it is during the holidays that this coronavirus has a way to uh, mutate, like they say, it spreads faster as people get together. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, let's remember that and uh, pray against that, not just for Namibia, but all over the earth. People don't listen. People like to move around. We are going to really pray uh, that the Lord this time will have mercy on the earth and that the blood of Jesus Christ will insulate everyone, whether people are traveling by air or by the road or they are, they are meeting together as families, they are going on the beaches, wherever the people are gathering together all over the earth at this time, that this coronavirus will not mutate again in the name of Jesus, that the blood of Jesus will flow 
in the air, in the oceans, wherever. Let the blood of Jesus fill the air in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? My father, my God, that we plead the blood of Jesus Christ on the earth, in the air, in the water, so the riches on the place, on the roads, in the houses of Father, let your mercy prevail my father. We plead your blood, O oh Lord, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the precious blood of the Lamb. We plead the blood in the hand of the people who are not Over Africa, over Europe, over every corner of the earth, the you have rescued us from the pit where there is no water. For this purpose, for the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. My father, you 
Lord, we soak this season in the blood of Jesus. Make us a poco shoprapa. Make us a seketete. Prako shoprapa. Kose kasete kropoko shoprapa. Kasike se kropoko shoprapa. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to again pray that prayer. This is Easter period. The, it, it is an irony that Jesus Christ died so that we will not die. And Hallelujah. People are dying like flies mm. during this period. It's a wicked irony from the pit of hell. We're going to Amen. take Isaiah 53 verse 5. We're going to remind the devil that Jesus Christ, who who is our savior has died so that we will not die. We are tired of death and hell. For this purpose, the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. He says he has the keys of hell and death. We are going to ask them for the victory of the cross of Calvary because we know that Jesus did not die in vain. He did not commit suicide. He died that we might live. He died that we might not die. Abba, Father, we remind you of the death of your son. We ask you for mercy over the earth. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was placed upon him. With his stripes, Father, you are you have healed us. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Abba, Father, where is your love for the earth? Where is your mercy? Where is the sounding of your bowels for us? Have you given up on your love? The Bible says, Your mercy is enduring forever. We say your mercy is enduring forever. That let your bowels be filled with mercy for the end. Father, in this period, for this purpose, you put your son on the cross of Calvary. Why should death and hell be ruling the earth again? Father, have mercy. Abba, Father, you must ask from here why the people die from HIV AIDS as if you are not in the land. Why are people dying on earth as if our father is asleep? Our father wake up. Pass stretch for your mighty hands of mercy. Stretch for your hands of mercy, O God. We plead the mercy of God over this earth. This is the period, Father. Remember what you sent your son to the cross of Calvary. Father, we remember Calvary. We remember the death of Jesus Christ, our Lord. You did not suffer in vain. You will not suffer in vain. You went to the cross that we might live. Father, we 
Remember the death of your son. Remember his resurrection. Remember his precious blood of our father. We plead the blood of Jesus on this planet. Father. We plead the blood. 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 We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We play the blood of Papa against all these accidents, against coronavirus, against sicknesses, against diseases, against the power of sin. Oh, yes, Against spiritual death, we plead the blood. Let the men be saved. Let the women be saved. Let the end be saved, O Lord. Let there be salvation of Father that your judgment might not be. If a in this system, period, Father, let souls be saved. Let mankind be saved, O God. We plead the blood of Jesus on the souls of men, on the souls of women, on the souls of children, Father. Let there be salvation, let there be deliverance, O God. Let there be safety, Father. Save us, we shall be saved, Father. Oh, we plead the blood of Jesus for the backsliders, for the saints, for the sinners. Let there be salvation. Let there be safety. We plead your mercy, O Lord. We plead your we come against the stronghold of darkness in the source of mankind, O Lord. We plead the blood, we plead your mercy, Father. We plead the blood of Jesus. Let the people's souls be saved. Let the accident cease, O God. Let the powers of darkness be judged. We plead your mercy, we plead the blood, we plead the blood of Jesus against the coronavirus, Father, let it not spread anymore, Father, let it not spread anymore, let it not spread anymore, mercy on the earth, have mercy on mankind, have mercy on our souls, Oh Father, we plead the blood, we plead the blood, we plead the blood. The blood of Jesus cannot be shed in vain. Father, don't let the enemy mock you. Don't let the enemy use this period to kill as many people as possible over the earth, whether to corner or accidents that rebuke the enemy. Don't let the 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Want us all to open to Psalm 88. Let's all try to open with our Bibles and read that psalm together. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. We're going to read this psalm on behalf of 
um, on behalf of the earth, on behalf of Africa, Europe, wherever the people are dying in the Americas, Asia, the, we are going to read this psalm on behalf of those who are sick, those who are struggling for their lives in the hospital. We're going to ask the power that raised Jesus from the grave to begin, so that, that God the Father will release that power on earth now. It's enough now in the name of Jesus. Let's read it out loud together and then pray in tongues. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thy ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I'm counted with them that go down to the pit. I'm as a man that hath no strength. Free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they cut off from the, thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit in darkness in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves, Selah. Thou hast put away my acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination to them. I'm shut up and I cannot comfort. My eye mourneth by reason of affliction, Lord. I have called daily upon thee, I'll stretch out my hands unto thee. Without show wonders to the dead, shall the dead arise and praise thee, Selah. Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, all thy faithfulness in destruction. Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness. But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Lord, why casted thou off my soul? Why hardest thou thy face from me? I'm afflicted and ready to die from my youth up while I suffer thy terrors and destructed. Thy fierce wrath went over me. Thy terrors have caught me off. They came round about me. Daily like water, they compassed me about together. Lover and friend has thou put far from me and my acquaintance into darkness. You see that verse, the verse 18 and verse 8 really describes those who are suffering from corona. Nobody can go near them. They have, they have, they, if you look at look at verse eight, look at verse eight. It says, um, "Thou hast put away my acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination to them. I'm shut up, and I cannot comfort this." This psalm just describes what Corona does to the earth, does to the dying, to the living. There's lockdown. There's locked up. The people are escaping from lockdown, running into doing into uh, on holidays, running from from lockdown into Corona, from Corona into lockdown. Ah, Father, have mercy. Makuri pakute teke teke kurupoko sheka teke In Jesus' name, we pray. Let me tell you something that I remember as we are praying. When the Lord spoke last year, he said, there will be death, but if you can pray. You know, the Lord does not just say things. It's like you are going to pray a lot. So let us not really give up. You know, I noticed that we are no longer talking about Corona. We have to pray until it disappears in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us ask God to have mercy. If you read this Psalm 88, it is describing coronavirus situation. We do not want death on earth anymore, Father. This is more than enough now. In this Easter period, we have done one Easter with Corona. We are going from one Easter to another. No, Father, this is the period that Corona must die because Jesus died so that we can live. 
he shed his blood. Let us insist. Let's go to our Father. This, this Corona has to die, Father. It's enough now. The sin that brought Corona to the earth must die. The spirit of Corona must die. My Father, sin must die on earth. For this purpose, your son was slain. For this purpose, you donated your son. You gave the only begotten son for the earth. My God, my father, we have been praying. We are calling on you today and night. As it is said in the psalm, Father, you are not getting anything from killing the people. You can use the same power that to save them. You can force them to kill them. You and some father have mercy. My Coroco Shoka de Baba, Preco Shoko Soko Tede, Reco Shoko Sente, Repapa Gode Sente, O Lord, my God, the God of our salvation. We have a right day and night before you. Let our prayers come before you, Father. Declare your ears and hear our cry, for our souls are full of troubles, our lives are drawing nigh to the grateful that we are content with them that go down to the pit. We are asking man that has no strength. And my Father, why should death be reigning on earth? Father, have mercy. Have mercy free among the dead like the slain that lie in the grateful that remember us no more. And they are cut off from that kind. Thou hast led us in the lowest pit in darkness in the deeps that rock your, God, your anger is lying hard upon us upon the earth. Thou hast afflicted us with all thy waves. Thou hast put away our winters far from us. Thou hast made us an abomination unto them. They shut up and we cannot comfort Father Papa Papa. Father have mercy rebuke the spirit of death and hell, Father. Rebuke it. Rebuke sin on earth. Rebuke sickness on earth. Rebuke the powers of the great Father. Jesus died that we might be delivered from the fear of death. Forgetfulness, but unto thee have we cried, O Lord, in the morning. 
Sana wa prayers we pray the Father Papa for the sent the the Oh Lord why do you cast us off why do you cast off the souls of mankind on earth kate Papa we are afflicted and ready to die from our youth of kate kate Papa reko soko de poko soko Papa Father see us around the book of us remove your fears and go from the Father in this season, we are insisting that you remember the death of your son. You remember the sacrifice that he made on the cross of Calvary. We claim the victory of the cross of Calvary. You say we should not fear. We should, we should not allow our hands to be slack. That's why we are lifting up our hands to you. You say you are mighty in our midst, Father. Master, Father, show your mightiness. Show your almightiness and show your almightiness. Show your loving kindness to your mercy. Father, our souls are crying for those who are suffering. We know you have present, you have preserved us, you are keeping us. We thank you for that. But people are dying around us, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I just want us to remember Tanzania. I, I don't know if you saw the video I sent it to all of you, how the entire nation is weeping for that president. The man stood. That is the only president on earth that said, let us pray, ah, my father. My father, my father, my father, one president on earth that said, let us pray against coronavirus. And now he's gone. And the whole nation is mourning. My father, my God, for how long are you going to be angry? We pray for Tanzania. We pray that you will comfort those people, Father. They are presidents stood in your name. They are presidents. He stood in your name against coronavirus. My father, my God, Father, we pray that we comfort that nation. You will comfort them. They are crying. Don't let them be confused, Father. Don't let them backslide the Lord. Their president was leading them to honor your name. This anger is too much, Father. In Jesus' name, please let us pray that prayer. I don't know the vice president, she looks like a Muslim to me. Something is going on in this earth now. Something is going on. Something is going on. I'm not judging her, but I'm just saying that that man was a you know he was a Christian. He was crying out against coronavirus, against injustice, against sin, against corruption. Ah, mm. one president that we have in this Africa, Father. Why? And now that woman, the vice president, let us also pray for her. She looks like a Muslim to me, but you know what? Let's just pray. But I'm so concerned for the people that those people, they would not backslide. They are mourning, they are crying. They are crying as if their God is dead. Father, Oh, 
Father, we remember that and we pray that we will be for them. We pray that they will not backslide. We pray that you strengthen them at this time, Father. We pray that you will reassure their hearts. We don't know. We cannot ask you why you did it. Your name is Kabiasi, Father. Nobody can query you. Nobody can question you. We are just saying, Father, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are the God of heaven and the earth. You are the owner of heaven and the Father, we are not here to query you all. We are not here to ask you questions. We are not here, Father, to, to be rude to you or anything. We are here to plead your mercy, to plead the blood of Jesus, to plead for your mercy, to beg you, Father. We know that you are still in charge of this earth. We will never give up because we know you are still in charge. We know it is you. Not the devil, the power is yours, the kingdom is yours, the glory is yours. That we are not here to query you, we are not here to blame you, we are not here to murmur, we are here to say, Father, have mercy. Father, we confess that we love you, we confess that we love you, we say. You are our everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. We actually are very grateful for what you are doing for us. We thank you because you are keeping us. We thank you because you're watching over us. We thank you because you are showing us how to escape from this temptation. But Father, people are dying around us and our souls are being grieved every day. The Bible says the soul of righteous Lord was being grieved. We pray for the salvation of mankind. We ask, oh Lord, that you forgive all the sins, all the iniquities, all the murders, all the adulteries, all the idolatry, the drunkenness, the occultism, the ritual killings, all the wickedness that is going on on earth. Ah, Father, forgive it. The name of Jesus, all the bloodshed, the blood that, are, that is crying out for vengeance, we ask that the blood of Jesus Christ who silence them in this season, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. We plead the blood of Jesus on every soul on earth at this time, on the nations, on Africa, on Europe, on the Americas, on Asia, on the souls that are dying in the hospital that are crying unto you. Those that don't even know you, they are crying unto you, my father. We 
plead the blood of Jesus on our own souls, on our own families, on our ministries, oh God. On those of us who are crying unto you day and night, we plead the blood yes, of Jesus. Makati deke si ketete kati pokoro poko sento kosi ketete kati pokoro poko sento. You say in Ezekiel 9 that a seal should be placed over the head of those who are crying day and night for the iniquities of the cities, Father. Let your seal of protection be over our heads, be over our families, be over our, our churches, be over our businesses. We give you praise for what you are doing for us, Father, and we say thank you because as we cried unto you this morning, we know that it will have an effect. We know you will hear us. We know you have heard us. We know we will see answers, Father. We decree by decree of heaven that there shall be no more accidents during this Easter period in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree by decree of heaven that people will not contaminate each other during this Easter period in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whether in Namibia or outside Namibia, we decree that your mercy will prevail. We decree that your name will be glorified. We thank you, omnipotent God. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy own strength. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover this platform with the blood of Jesus. We know the enemy does not want us to keep praying. But Father, we thank you for the strength that you have given us. And we thank you, Father, for every prayer point that has been raised from last night till now and we seal the prayer points in the blood of Jesus we seal the answers in the blood of Jesus we seal ourselves our churches our school our businesses our homes our vehicles our families all their homes in the blood of Jesus Christ Thank you, eternal rock of ages. All the powers that are angry at our prayers, we seal their judgment with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We seal their judgment with the fire of the Holy Ghost. All Amen. the powers, principalities, rulers of the darkness of this world that are angry because we are praying these prayers. Our Father, you are the one that gave us this assignment. We didn't call ourselves. Therefore, Father, protect us against them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Protect all our children and children's children and our family members, all our church members, ministry members, against these wicked forces that want us to cry by all means in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, all these new variants of this coronavirus, Father, we bind them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We rebuke them and we command the blood of Jesus to consume them. Thank you, Father. I soak all our lungs in the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak all the lungs of our church members, our ministry members in the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak the lungs of mankind all over the earth in the blood of Jesus. Shall we just pray that prayer? It just came up now that everybody in this on this planet earth release your faith should have the blood of Jesus flowing in their lungs, in their hearts, in their organs, in their blood vessels. Let the blood of Jesus flow. We soak our lungs, our brains, our eyes, our ears, our hearts, our spleen and liver, all our the organs in the body of man. In the precious blood of the Lamb, Masopo Koshika Dede, Precoso Kropo Koshika Tete Kate Pakote Kaseto. Let the blood of Jesus Christ fill our lungs, our 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 all the internal organs, external organs. Let the blood of Jesus be in the air that we are breathing, in every nation, in the food we eat, in the water that we drink. Makoropo Koshoko in the room where we sleep, in the rooms where we work, in the cars that we ride. We 
soak everyone's lungs in their precious blood of the Lamb. Those who are in the hospital, we soak their lungs in the blood of Jesus. Those who are infected, we soak their lungs in the blood of Jesus. The nurses, the doctors, we soak them in the blood. Everyone in the hospital, Father, all the school children, we soak their lungs in the blood of Jesus. All the young ones, old ones, they can take a second. We cancel all the evil prophecies concerning this coronavirus. Father, we cancel them with the blood of the Lamb. We say, Jesus, you died that you will not die again. You cannot come back to this world to die for us again. Makate take a second. We soak our lives in the blood of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. Thank you, omnipotent God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Like I said, please let us not for, let us not be weary. Let us not forget that the weapon we are given against coronavirus is prayer and is the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The the Lord says we should shout, we should rejoice, we should dance. He also says we should not fear and we should not be weak. He says don't let your hands be slack. The real, let me tell you, the real, the real, uh, the core of the anchor, I would say, is that verse 16. Let not your hands be slack. Don't be lazy. That is, it is what the Lord wants us to know, that we must pray until this thing dies out. So while we are praying all kinds of prayers, we must attack coronavirus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. It is well. God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you.